Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today we are going to be jumping down into the charts to take another look at Bitcoin. What's been going on with the Bitcoin pullback and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And uh, with all that said, done and out of the way, let's jump on down into Bitcoin. We're just going to start things off with our daily chart and we're just going to take a look at what's been going on here and um yeah so basically we're paired up with usdt and we are using binance as a data source now for the most part if you're familiar with the channel we'll be talking about forty seven thousand dollars for quite some time uh, or forty seven and a half thousand to be more specific and essentially what we were tracking was this big a wave up this b wave down and eventually that c wave up higher okay we obviously hit the target i think we came to about 48k so a little over extending on the forty seven and a half, which is fine uh, and then we start to pull back down now what's interesting about this pullback has actually been a little bit more um lenient than i thought it actually was originally right because uh, i thought we we're going to see a little bit more of a steeper decline faster than we actually have done i'm not saying it's not going to come down um but it does look like it's actually stabilizing a little bit so essentially what we've got here is i draw these trend lines on and i say many people seem to love them um but we can see we've got a declining trend line here but we've also got an ascending one uh, just on uh, this side here. Let me just grab this and throw it up on this side. Um, so essentially what we're doing here is potentially finding ourselves getting uh, you know, condenser or coiled up into a little bit of a spring and just waiting for a bit of a push to the upside. Now, tracking this particular pattern is quite an interesting one because it would actually allow us to think that maybe this is a fourth wave, right? So if we were to take a look at this from this perspective i don't know if this is going to check out or not but i'm going to check it from here to here so it's not that one um, but i am seeing a potential move right here and i think this one would be exactly what i'm looking for yeah so we have that overextension on the way three all the way up to 3.618 and it's possible that we actually can articulate this as a one two three this being a fourth wave and then the final fifth wave here on the daily, uh, taking us up higher. Now, if I do measure that to here to here, uh, this low point then triggers us into a bit of a higher point. Let me just pop that up to about here and we'll do that on here. Okay, and then I'll grab hold of this yellow rectangle so we get a bit of a range here because with these fifth waves, they have a, the ability to kind of just uh, go to a few different areas. These are the most common ones. Uh, there is another way of doing it, but I'm not going to overcomplicate it for YouTube. Um, should we go any higher than these, we can we could have a look at it that alternative method of measurement. Uh, but yeah, essentially here we're looking at maybe 49 to 50k. And if we hit those points, um, you know, I think that's going to really bring in some more uh, FOMO. So we might overwick it and we might go a little bit higher. But essentially um, what this would then trigger in is I think a, a weekly correction. We still do need to have a weekly correction here. But the stochastic RSI on our daily chart is indicating that we were actually in a pretty good place and we could potentially push up into this so if this try and get a wedge here plays out into a fourth wave with a fifth wave going higher and that would put us in a really strong position for bitcoin uh, essentially because it'll allow us to kind of get this fifth wave up higher bringing the alts into their final fifth waves as well um, and then uh, essentially see some kind of major pullback occur later into a weekly time frame okay so i'm going to come leave that there for a second and just pop up into that weekly you can see that we're overbought and uh, we do need to see a correction right so if we do hit these higher levels up here um you know between 49 and 50k uh, essentially i think bitcoin will then pull back quite massively into potentially uh, this yellow box area that i have all the way down here um but i do think 37k is the most probable um there's good support around here as you can see right we haven't closed these weeklies um, inside this yellow box. We've, we've gone into the yellow box, but we haven't closed inside it. So essentially, if we are going to pull back, I think that's going to be the area that would basically lower our stochastic RSI into a really good sweet spot, um, allowing us then for another really good run. Uh, and again, this would basically allow us to also articulate that there's five waves here, okay? meaning that we should look for some kind of simple or complex ABC correction taking us down. And then we look for five impulsive waves going up much, much higher. Um, and again, you know, then we're, we're kind of on the verge of talking about new all time highs and all that kind of good stuff. And um, so kind of good to kind of see this one play out a little bit. Um, and obviously, 
I mean, we're we on target new all-time highs. We aren't there yet, though. Uh, but essentially, what we are looking for is a push-up uh, into a fifth wave higher. Uh, and we ideally don't want to break this triangle now. So we don't really want to come down lower than 44 right now. Uh, we want to kind of, you know, test the upper bound and then maybe just pull back a little bit and then get that, that impulsive move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down into our, our hourly chart. Okay, and I'm going to try to um, kind of show you what's going on here, uh, potentially with this, right? So we obviously had uh, our move here where we had five waves up, um, we had uh, basically a complex uh, wedge and five waves coming down. Uh, this again has many different names in the space, but it's uh, basically a 535 as I can see it. Uh, and we are tracking something similar uh, over this side in a minute, five waves up and some kind of complex move here, potentially five waves coming down. Um, but this actually does mean that we would lower our low point here so it potentially not quite what we're tracking exactly right and um, these five waves coming up are the thing that confuses us most but we are technically higher than this point here and this could actually be marking our move towards our fifth wave higher and um, by having this as a complex um, correction right uh, and what I mean is if we were to take a look at the measurement of this move this is what happened over the last couple of days it's exactly uh, you know, coming down to, well, say it's exactly, it's, uh, it's getting very, very close to uh, the 1.236, but we found a strong support on that trend line, which is an interesting kind of tell as well. If we actually look back, you can also see that this is the beginning of our wave one over this side of the chart. And um, so this pullback that we've had taken us down to the low of uh, 44,412 um to the penny on binance that is uh, is also the start point of our wave one so interesting kind of stuff going on there now if we also take a look at it from uh, a slightly different perspective and we so it's a one-to-one -one ratio and i'm trying to figure out where i saw it i think it was uh this move but let me just check let's see where we are with this one because i think this still has yeah so right about here we actually come down right on the one-to-one -one. that completes that as an abc move right there a b and c which is why we bounce so hard now we have moved this hourly stochastic rsi quite up up quite a bit so i'd expect some kind of pullback um and again maybe this is this the you know another start of a, a run up um, but we will be looking to see whether or not we can breach those higher points. Um, but for now, I would expect some kind of hourly pullback and then an hourly surge forward. On the four hourly chart, we're already oversold. On the eight hourly chart, we're oversold. On the daily chart, we're oversold. And um, so right now, I'm not expecting any major moves to the downside. I'm not thinking that we're going down to 37K um, or anything like that straight away. But I am thinking that we're going to be kind of getting ourselves uh, coiled up into this area just a bit more before we have that explosive move upwards towards our fifth wave targets. Once they come in, the alts will obviously go with it. And uh, essentially then we'll be talking about weekly corrections. And that's really where the, uh, the $37,000 Bitcoin would, would potentially come into play. Um, because we would need to correct everything. So on this surge up, I would see us with an overbought sto stochastic RSI on the daily, an overbought one on the eight hour, the four hour, and potentially even the daily by the time this fifth wave finishes. And then we are looking at some kind of major pullback and some kind of major crash for Bitcoin, taking it from these highs of 50 down to like 37 maybe if we're lucky we'll you know find 39 and a half k being the support level um but we are looking for something significant and and kind of illustrate this a little bit better i'm going to just jump over to this bitcoin chart that i have on bitstamp um and i've spoken about this a couple of times before but essentially uh what we're really targeting is a move like this one that was back in august of 2020 it was a 21 percent move and um, that's kind of the thing that we're looking to see here we want a 21 percent pullback we don't want to go down too low what we want to avoid is similar scenarios that we saw back in march of 2020 where we had a very significant pullback um and you know that was actually going at about 63 percent okay so we want to avoid the 63 percent pullback because that would ruin the structure and what we want to kind of see here is about a 21 percent pullback and that takes us down to about the 39 to 37 thousand dollar range and i believe that that would be enough to actually correct our stochastic but again until the moment actually comes where we start to see bitcoins pull back we don't necessarily know how much um you know how how fast i should say i guess this stochastic rsi is actually going to move down right because if we take a look at this august 2021 as uh, a august 2020 sorry and uh, we were overbought and we went to oversold by just doing 20 
1% pullback, uh, whereas we did a 63% pullback, and again, we took it from overbought to oversold, right? So they, there are differences here. And uh, one was obviously black swan event, pandemic, uh, you know, stock market crashing, etc. And one was a nice healthy correction. I'm hoping that we have a nice healthy correction here, um, like we did back in August of 2020. And if that is the case, then actually we'll be in a really good spot for, for Bitcoin, and we can lower our stochastic RSI nicely with that 21 percent pullback and essentially be in a really good spot going further forward into another surge up um so everything is kind of looking pretty good for bitcoin i would expect a small push upwards now um you know after we kind of call, call it up a little bit more uh, move up towards the kind of 50k range and then we pull back down towards this yellow box about 37 uh, to 39 thousand dollars guys um if you have found this video useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day i'll catch you all in the next one